Namaskar, I'm doing a recap of my first kickboxing class yesterday. Let's get it. Yeah. I'm inspired. Yeah. I'm inspired. Hey there guys, how's it going? My name is Sumit Chatterjee from the Flow Zone Academy and I'm a flow state coach, which means that I help you feel better and perform better. I'm giving a little bit of a recap from my kickboxing class yesterday. So essentially I had my first kickboxing class yesterday, Zest Gym in Kolkata, right? And it was very interesting. Um, the main trainer who I'd spoken to wasn't there. However, I met the other trainers, a quite incredible experience. When I first walked in, I was told to warm up and, you know, I was just getting the hang of everything. It seemed very natural. I kind of impersonated and imitated the other students around me to adapt and watch my form be very critical and become a fast learner in a sense was my main kind of mindset switch understood that i was doing a forward roll and things like this and i started to get into my head a little bit at certain moments and i noticed this was my inner critic if you notice that the inner critic resides in the body near the lungs almost it's a sense of shame or this feeling of being shut down feeling constricted right our lungs constrict when the inner critic takes over or you can even say in the moments of flow egolessness the ego peers in tapping this area of the body is very useful To let go of that past conditioning stored into the body almost sending it back to the earth i loved working on the mat i had to do my first forward roll i'd never done it before it was quite interesting you know certain movements i was just kind of playing around with it it's almost like a like a baby learning to walk it's like i did it until i got it it was like okay the punch isn't right they move it towards the shoulder, move forward, move back. I knew I wasn't going to get the footwork right away. I know it's going to take time for me to get the footwork very accurate and to make it more flowing and fluid and light on my feet. Though I was experimenting with the movement, I was properly trying to get the jab and the cross. I think that was kind of my main purpose was I wanted to get it absolutely accurate. I wanted to let myself go into the rhythm. One of my purposes was freeing up any stagnant chi in my body. So I would constantly move myself around. I wouldn't sit still like this, okay? I would not sit still like this and rest. I would get up, get some water. I would kind of move around. I would tap my foot. I would stretch, I would stretch like this. And just to get the blood flowing and the nitric oxide going to create that flow state alchemy. You know, a great hack is to have beet juice two hours before your flow state activity. Beet juice is filled with high nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is associated with the release phase of the flow cycle. Okay. And so I've understood that, you know, even L-arginine or certain things that you know, improve the, the blood flow of the body. It's gonna be incredible for flow state. I noticed my heart rate variability. My heartbeat, boom, 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 was emanating throughout my whole body as it became one undulating pulse. Once you get into the rhythm, it's almost like you tap into one specific frequency of fighting. Almost like you take a wavelength on. It's like, boom, take on one wavelength, right? There's another wavelength available, right? For with more training, you unlock more of those pathways, those neural pathways where you can connect more directly. And I'm sure that's how, you know, Max Holloway can just move out of the way of a punch so effortlessly like this. 
because he's unlocked some neural pathway in his mind where now dodging just becomes almost automatic. I think my reflexes were very good. Even the trainer said it was very good for your first time kickboxing, right? Now, I had had some practice earlier because, of course, I had an online trainer. I hadn't trained with him for a while, though, maybe like two, a month or so, right? However, at the same time, I got the accuracy of the shots and I, and I understood kind of what I was doing. The other students were also very helpful, you know what I mean? Like, this girl was saying, like, don't be like a chicken, right? Fuck, fuck. Put, put the elbows down like this. You know, use the mats as a way to understand your stance better. Uh, use it diagonally. Things like, you know, I, I understood later that in pad work, you kind of have to push into the pad and not just hold it still like this. Because if you hold it still like this, you're risking the injury of the wrist kind of snapping, right? It's, it's kind of in one place. So this is what I was doing at first, and I was going, bah! and I would feel the snapback effect of a very hard hitting punch, right? From Amir, who was one of the other students there, right? So it'd go, bah, 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 bah. And then later on, I understood that you have to kind of move into the punch. You have to go into it. You don't have to be still like this, right? So just these little tweaks, these little adjustments. Um, I didn't do any kicks. That's kind of one thing that I was reflecting on because I know that my lower body needs a lot of work and I was actually pretty hesitant to do kicks but I knew the punches and I I had that very solid it was pretty mesmerizing watching some of this pad work because it was very spontaneous but also very calibrated it was like low inhibition but high calculation that's kind of the the interplay between the mind and the body I mean Again, there is no mind, right? When we judge ourselves, we go back to the ego because the ego is trying to protect you at all costs, right? It's trying to make you look good, right? It's not trying to embarrass you. And so that keeps you stuck in your old state or old pattern. When you're willing to look ridiculous, where you're willing to just evolve through the through the lesson, through what you have to do, right? One of the things I noticed is I wanted to be highly coachable. So I went in there with the mind to learn. I didn't go in there to try to like one up anyone or do any cool tricks or like, you know, it's, it's my first day. I'm gonna go there like a student, you know, hoping to learn something new, which I did. I learned a lot of different tweaks that I could apply the construct of a fighter and and hey this was my first class you know it's like I'm sure a lot of first classes people have been clunky awkward you know random there were little moments of that but I didn't keep myself there at all I immediately disengaged with the inner critic almost I told the inner critic to take a back seat bro I'm the I'm in the passenger seat now by actually consoling my my ego right so you can try this out in the moments where you feel your ego coming up. You console it, you go there, there. Aww, are you gonna be okay, brother? Are you gonna be fine? Pamper yourself. Um, this is something I got from one of my spirit guides um, from a channeling last night as well. Very, very powerful stuff. One of the things that I kept telling myself is brace yourself to grace yourself. Brace for the impact to become the grace that is like water, okay? Now this was very powerful for me because that was, that was like a mantra that I had throughout the entire time. I don't know where it came from, maybe source energy. Brace for impact, understand that you're, there might be shots coming at you, but as long as you understand the mechanism of this thing, this instrument, this physical instrument, is almost like I was relearning my body. And some of the strength and conditioning exercises got me to really tap into this frequency. Actually, after a certain point, I noticed my fingers just started burning, like, became, whole hand was like red, right? It was like burning, it was like on fire. I felt that chi, that prana in my hands. And what's very interesting is the bones 
the most bones in are in your hands and in your feet, right? And the hands are used to create um, and protect ourselves in a sense. And that's the kind of the main thing that I was using, right? To block the hits, to do the punches and things like this. This was a normal part of training. There's nothing bizarre, you know? Um, but it was just something that I know I'm gonna have to get used to. I think the little breaks where there would be some exercises, conditioning exercises, before we get into more pad work was very beneficial because it put me into almost an enhanced state. It was like my energy was more up, right? So I'd say in the beginning of that morning, I was quite complacent, but later on, as I started to engage and actually lean into the discomfort, I started to energize and re-energize and re-energize. It was quite a weird experience because I hadn't really thought of it like this. And I was pretty fascinated by just being at the gym. First of all, I showed up there a little bit late. So I thought that this class had started already. So I was almost trying to go in there, trying to figure out like, oh man, what am I gonna do, you know? No tension, just move through with the action and do what I need to do. Don't overwhelm myself with just, you know, the chatter of the mind. The chatter of the mind is never gonna help you in any new opportunity or in any new, you know, chance that you get to practice something. I think it's a very nice workout. The right word here would be low state activation the name of my channel it was an activation instead of agitation or tension i prefer the word activation because activation is you going from the sympathetic to the parasympathetic you understanding you're in fear mode it's arousal it's the state of you know fight or flight but then within that you're restoring yourself you're relaxing yourself you're grounding yourself you're centering yourself through those movements through the chaos right through the discomfort you are comfortable. This is the practice, this is the art form, this is the nuance of how Taoism plays into the martial arts and MMA. I'm thinking about doing a series on the Tao, the Tao Te Ching. Comment below if you want that, or give me a thumbs up if you think that's a good idea. Because I think that'd be a really cool project for me to really break down the doubt in my own personal understandings as a flow state coach and giving you my perspective. So let me know what you think. It applies to everything. Have an incredible day. May the flow be with you and stay legendary. Oh, so let's get it today.